All right, folks, so I'm uh, going to show you how to update the BIOS on this uh, ASRock Z390 motherboard. And uh, you can see here it's the Z390 Pro 4 model. And if we look at, uh, this is sysinfo here, all right? So uh, to get to that, you would type uh, SYS info or system information, and you will see this uh, pop up. So um, basically in here, we can see what our BIOS version is and uh, you know some of the other stats of this computer. All right, so um, in here, let me blow this up. You can see right here that it is February 13, 2019, okay? And we are on February 9th, so there's bound to be a, uh, a new version. Uh, this is 3.1. And uh, so let's go ahead and Google that um, in case you cared about the stats of this computer. There they are. All right, so we'll go to Google and we're going to put in uh, ASRock Pro 4 and this is a Z390 and we want BIOS. So from there, we click on that first link. And uh, we'll go to support. So you'll find this process is pretty much the same for uh, Gigabyte for everybody. Uh, here's your BIOS. Now, this is uh, kind of neat to read, right? So um, back when they were first creating this, you know, they would have had this first BIOS. And then they'd slowly... Uh, update it and eventually they had actually uh, put this out on the market um, but this column the description kind of tells you the stuff they did so most of the stuff is uh, not really exciting um, and this is the BIOS that's in here this is a March March of 2019 right and we are um, looks like we're January 2nd 2020 so they've had a few um, you know, most of this stuff really, uh, not real important, but however, if you have this motherboard and you have an older one, some of these things might mean something to you or in the future, um, there might be something, uh, worth doing. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, download. And I'm going to, I guess I'll save it to my download folder. Then we're going to open that folder. And then I'm going to extract all. Now it's important to uh, extract all because you want this file here on your thumb drive. And sometimes, uh, depending on the software, you can or the uh, motherboard. Sometimes you can do this through software and sometimes you have to do it through the motherboard. So um, since we're good to go here, I'm going to put the uh, thumb drive in and uh, talk a little bit more about that. Alright, so I just put in a thumb drive and that is D. So I'm going to copy this over. And then we're just going to uh, control C to copy and control V to paste it. So my thumb drive is ready to go. All right. So before I do that, you see um, there's different ways to do this. Windows, Instant Flash. Let me click on information just so you know exactly what's going on. There are three methods to update the BIOS using Instant Flash. And uh, so we are going to use the uh, easy mode one and so I will try and remember to put this link down below for y'all um, just so you have it in case you'd rather just follow along with this um, pretty easy to do this is pretty much standard stuff 
So I know I'm going kind of fast through this, but uh, I'm actually surprised they uh, they went into that level of detail. All right, so we're going to switch to a uh, handheld uh, cell phone to record the next stages, and then I'll jump back to uh, this point. All right. All right, so we're picking off where uh, left off at, which was saving the files to a thumb drive, which uh, hopefully you know what a thumb drive is, something like this, right? So we, um, we're we going to go ahead and reboot this. Now, ASRock, um, of course, update and restart. So usually you can do... Uh, delete or uh, F2, uh, sometimes F10, depends on the motherboard. So I'm going to uh, be banging away with this when uh, this finally restarts. So let me uh, pause this for now. All right, we're banging away on the delete key and boom, we're in the BIOS. So this is uh, easy mode, as you can see from the top there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, update our BIOS. So we'll do that in the tools area. And there is uh, Instant Flash. Okay. So um, kind of interesting how this one is set up differently. And I need to make sure that I label this properly. Um, putting the thumb drive in. So like they said, there are different ways to uh, do the flash with this. Um, I don't mess with internet stuff. So we're going to do instant flash. And, uh, voila, look at that. It found that pretty fast, right? Um, so now we're going to hit the uh, update button. Do you want to update the blah, blah, blah to this? Yes, I do. Now I'm in the background. After pressing enter, the system will automatically reboot. Please wait for a few seconds and the BIOS update will continue. So... We're going to do that, and uh, that's actually pretty scary, folks. Most of the uh, BIOSes don't just shut off like that, so, um, but there it is, doing the instant flash. So, ASRock's a little different than Gigabyte from that aspect, and, um, you know, this is one of those things where, uh, like I like to remind people, don't do a BIOS update in a uh, the middle of a lightning storm, hurricane, tornado, uh, flash flood, uh, high winds. Any time that you possibly could have loss of power. I guess we'll throw a blizzard in there too, right? So any time that you have a chance of losing power, do not do a BIOS update. This uh, can adversely affect your motherboard. And uh, basically make it uh, a big paperweight. Now I'm always pretty cautious. Um, I have, I don't believe I've lost a motherboard. I've screwed up some motherboards, but I've uh, been able to fix them uh, when I was, you know, getting started. And uh, that's a good thing about these computers. A lot of stuff you can figure out. You can find info on YouTube, on Google. Um, but yeah, so this is a pretty simple process and, uh, I'm gonna shut up now till it, uh, makes it to hundred percent. All right, so it has installed, and uh, hopefully we will uh, get this thing working. Now, of course, I left the thumb drive in. 
So hopefully this will either, yep, it's gone to Windows. So I'm going to take the thumb drive out. We don't need that in there anymore. And uh, I'm going to pause this, log in, and let you see that the BIOS is updated. All right, so we didn't, since we didn't cover it on the, uh, when we are doing the um, screen recording, let's go ahead and type in system information. And there you go. So anyhow, I typed the whole thing in. Popped up at the top. I'm going to hit enter. And let's look here. So BIOS version is actually, uh, did not go with the January one for some reason. We ended up with the December, December 2nd, 2019. So uh, either way, folks, that is a, uh, a newer BIOS. And uh, basically, we are all, uh, we're all updated. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you got something out of it. And uh, please like, please subscribe. Thank you.